I know most people think of us Canadians as very, you know, calm and friendly folk, but we can make a really good thriller every now and then. And this is an absolute gem of an example. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for the King Tide. Most of you might not know what this is, or might be, well, only my Canadian viewers know what this is, but if there are any Americans who have the ability to watch this movie, you should go and see it. It's probably not gonna be in theaters much long, especially for us Canadians, because I absolutely recommend this, because this is a Stephen King novella story that he wishes he wrote. The King Tide follows this small, isolated community that's separated from the main world. They have no connection to the mainland. And one day a boat is run ashore that has a baby inside it during after the King Tide storm. And this baby has healing power. She's able to heal people's wounds around her. And the village community basically makes her into a deity. They make Eliza the cornerstone of this village. She doesn't just heal wounds. She heals ailments, hangovers, pains, uh, dementia, everything to the point where medicine is forgotten where death is almost a bygone history this village submerges itself in its complacency and ignorance of her abilities and we jump 10 years later to see the effects of that they are so happy and nonchalant about what their issues are they use her to help them stay alive for food they can have stupid drunken brawls and just feel perfectly normal the next day but when her powers start to fluctuate when they come into question it is so quick and disturbing and eerily interesting to see how the fear sets in ever so quickly and the rash at decisions and the lines that are drawn in the sand that are quickly muddled just like the tide coming in and it all blends together in this really slow burn of a thriller that doesn't have any kind of big action set set pieces or any kind of big tension thrilled chase scenes it just has a lot of characters interacting with one another it is nail biting right up until the end i went into this movie having watched one little trailer and there was a bit that i thought was going to happen it, it feels like that but it much like an a24 film it actually takes you for a loop what i thought happened was not at all true it in fact is very different and I appreciated it so much for that. The instant that part came up and it was not what I expected it to be, the movie already went into a positive rating for me and they continued to build that positive rating right up until the end of the film. Obviously with low budget movies, you cannot have everything you want. You have to be very aware of your limitations and of your structure. And there are maybe a couple of moments where it feels a little bit like, oh, okay, you didn't have the time to finish that shot, or maybe you didn't have the full ability to show everything you wanted. Like, there's a, a cut that happens. Someone is hurt, and you don't really show how that happened, but you show the causality of what that action was. Having worked on film sets where sometimes you just can't show everything, you don't have the time, I can see that it happened, but it doesn't hinder the film in any major way you're just going to be like okay that's kind of a funny edit this is directed by a canadian christian sparks this film is clearly shot in newfoundland technically speaking you really don't know where the geography of the island is it, obviously from the nationality and the english you assume it's either american or canadian but much like i said with that stephen king novella King doesn't give you a lot of answers, right? He's more so giving you the story, and that's what this movie does. It doesn't give you a lot of answers that most films would do, but it gives you enough to hook you, and it keeps that hook in you right up until the end. It is a slow burn. It might not be for everyone, but for me personally, I really enjoyed how this lifestyle of complacency, just living life without issue, without fear, without death almost, quickly put these people into this lifestyle that they don't want to leave. And when things start to come into question, when things start to fall apart, it is so quick and de devious, but it's not over the top that's something i've got to give a lot of credit to the actors in this movie everyone does a really good job being subtle and being realistic almost with how things are going on because this is an island community this is a village community that have learned to live with each other for the last 10 years without any assistance or any communication with the mainland i will admit i am a sucker for stories that deal 
with isolated islands and it's definitely going to be on my top 10 for the year so aside from some kind of odd editing issues which i have a feeling again were due to limitations of budget and limitations of filming time this movie's near on flawless you might see the ending coming from a ways off i had a little hints of it but it still came to a pretty dramatic ending much like late night with the devil this is clearly a movie that knew what they could do how they wanted to tell this story how they wanted to execute it and it just does pretty much almost everything right in the end i'm gonna give the king tide a six out of seven those are my thoughts about this movie if any of you guys have seen this please let me know i'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about it because like i said i really enjoyed it I'm highly recommending it to anyone who can go and see it. I think the theater showings are not exactly that many, but if you have a chance to see it, absolutely. Whenever it comes to some form of streaming, I imagine whenever, it will definitely be viewable for people who have Crave because they were one of the sponsors for this movie. So anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.